Welcome back to another installment of Julian's Random Projects. We've hit a couple more milestones for the EV conversion, namely this coupler that goes from the electric motor to the transmission. Finally got it all lined up and welded together. The one side is heat treated. I first snuck into the kitchen and tried to get these parts up to about 400 degrees and even though I cleaned them really well with some acetone, it the parts must have had impregnated oil or something, you know, maybe residue in places I couldn't reach, I don't know, but it started to stink to high heaven, so I abandoned that pretty quickly and resorted to a simple Bunsen burner in the garage and got it up to temp. So in full disclosure, the first time I tried to heat fit this uh, part, I dropped the driveline shaft coupler piece in upside down and it actually matters in this particular part. There's a piece in there that allows it to seat properly. Uh, I felt really dumb after I did it. Now, I could rescue the part by cutting up the coupler or the, uh, the Lovejoy piece and getting back to the original one, but luckily, in, in my case, I've got two parts because I cut this thing in half to get the Z height down. So, all is not lost. Now, the other one, uh, after I got it dropped in, I went ahead and welded up uh, a little a, a bead around the, the rim to extra secure it in there. Uh, I might go back and, and build it up some, but I'm going to see how this does as it is. Alright, by the looks of things with this adapter plate, I've got the one big 12mm uh, bolt going into the motor itself, and then I've got these smaller ones uh, coming up this way to go into the transmission. And just the way that things uh, lined up, what I'm, I've got some that are just a hair too close, and the... I'm confident that this shaft will go through, but these uh, threads are sticking out just a little bit. Uh, or if I got to here, I'd kind of just ram it home, but I don't want to go marring up these threads as they come through. So this is going to come up from the from the other side. This thing's countersunk in here. It sits on a little shoulder inside the uh, aluminum plate. And so now I've just got to file off the little bit that protrudes into this circle. It's just a little bit. So. Oh, there we go. So with the adapter plate sort of mocked up in place, let's get this transmission cleaned up. Oh, that's much better. There we go. Now, let's go and uh, let's go take a look at the coupler and see how it's fitting and see if it's off kilter or uh, if there's any drag. All right, guys, that's it all mounted up. I don't feel any binding when I... Uh, spin this thing manually there we go so that's her uh, all made it up torqued down uh, like I mentioned before in a, a previous episode I, it's, it's likely I'll have to disconnect these things again uh, a few times but I went ahead and cleaned it all up just in case this is the, ends up being the last time I put it together it's not spick and span I mean, I'm not gonna eat off this thing but I got a lot of the grime and old paint and and caked on oil it didn't have any um, oil in it when I when I yanked it from the car so I'm gonna to be topping it off once I get it reinstalled and I want to be able to 
look for leaks and things like that. So having it cleaned off uh, really helps out with the uh, the leaking situation. I have new mounts on order, uh, transmission mounts as well as motor mounts. And the motor mounts originally held on to the, uh, the, the engine, you know, not a lot, just a big chunk of rubber here and a couple bolts, so not a lot. Uh, I'm going to use these as a space to indicate off of and then try and fab up some kind of mount between the electric motor and the frame itself. So that's our next step. Well, I, actually, I, that's not entirely true. <laughs> it's one of the next steps. My next step is going to be to bench test this thing. So I'll, I'll lie it down and I'll get the inverter hooked up and uh, one of my batteries going and see if I can control this thing with a uh, potentiometer or a uh, accelerator pedal. And if I can, then the next step after that would be to go ahead and bolt it all up and reconnect it to the uh, differential. So if you're interested in seeing how we uh, progress along with this electric midget EV conversion, uh, make sure you subscribe and share the video. Thanks. I'm hanging in, there ain't no doubt, and I'm hanging tough over and out, over and out, over and out.